ancient Egyptian knowledge about the speed of light and astronomical distance of the universe. The following text comes from the book African Philosophy, the Pharaonic Period, 2780 to 330 BC, pages 134 to 143 by Dr. Theophile Obinga. The speed of light and astronomical distance of the universe, as told in a hymn to Amun by Seti and Hor, Stele 826 in the British Museum, dated to the reign of Amenhotep III, Ned Ma'at Ra, 1408 to 1372 BC. Praise to Amun, rising as Harakati, from Seti and Hor, overseers of the works of Amun. They say, Hail to you, Ra, beautiful of every day, you who rise in the morning ceaselessly, Kepri, you who expend your energy and work, though your rays touch faces, they remain unknown. Electrum is not like your splendor. You are the creator Ptah, who fashions yourself, creator who was not created, alone and unique, traversing eternity, one so distant that he surveys a million paths. As you shine, so does the far off firmament shine. Your color is the brightest in the sky. As you cross the distant sky, every face sees you. When you set, you travel hidden from view, until you show yourself at dawn every day. Secure is your sailing with your majesty. In one short day, you voyage millions of leagues and hundreds of thousands. Each day is just an instant for you. When it is done, you rest. The following commentary is from Dr. Theophile Obinga. An utterly fascinating item in this hymn to Amun is the insight into the speed of light and into the astronomical scale of distances in the remote spaces of the cosmos. The sun, says the hymn, crosses eternity, traverses the far-off sky, that is to say, the immense, limitless infinity of space. In one short day, the light of the sun travels millions and hundreds of thousands of leagues. The hymn of Seti and Hor explicitly emphasizes the immensity of the cosmos within which the sun lives, together with all beings dependent on its creative energy. The distant sky actually represents the whole universe, teeming with galaxies, and we know the sun, along with other stars and galactic bodies, rotate along with the Milky Way, our galaxy, as a whole. The hymn says that in its long-distance voyage, each day, for in a mere instant, the sun speeds across a distance of millions and hundreds of thousands of leagues. Now let's do the math. One league is 10.5 kilometers. So a million leagues is 10,500,000 kilometers, while 100,000 leagues is 1,050,000. According to the text, then, the distance covered by the sun in the mere instance that day represents to it is several million plus hundreds of thousands of kilometers. In modern language, that means several millions of kilometers. We know that light travels from the sun a distance of 150 million kilometers in 8 minutes and 22 seconds. We also know that sunlight takes 5 hours to reach the farthest of the known planets. As for the moon, it is just a second distant from the earth at the speed of light. Such are the enormous distances crossed in the flash by the light of the sun. Seti and Hor's hymn to our moon is one of an increasingly small number of ancient texts to refer to the speed of sunlight, and it uses estimated orders of magnitude that, given the truly astronomical, that is to say unimaginable distance involved, seem quite realistic.